35. Wisdom as Foresight The Bible uses several Greek and Hebrew words for what in English is translated as wise. Some of these words mean skillful and understanding, and one of them, as in Exodus 23, it means seeing. The wise are the seeing ones. They can make logical connections, see consequences, and look beyond the surface. Scripture often speaks of wisdom as foresight. Thus, Ecclesiastes 8.5 says, A wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. The wise are provident because they look ahead, we are told. Wisdom isn't to be identified with learning. Learning is the accumulation of information and data, and many a man is full of knowledge or information, and yet is totally devoid of wisdom. As one exasperated mother remarked of her overeducated son, He has degrees in everything except common sense. Learning is a great advantage with wisdom, but foolishness apart from it. As Solomon observed, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Proverbs 9.9 The Bible never downgrades learning, but it makes very clear that Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs 4.7 It's wisdom that our age lacks. For example, with respect to one policy after another, Vietnam, the war on poverty, land control, smog devices and the like, no lack of learning and data has been in evidence. Very learned men have written legions of reports to flood us with data, but in all of this wisdom or seeing, foresight has been lacking. We have been full of knowledge and blind in sight. Where does wisdom come from? Not from books, clearly, or else wisdom and learning would be identical, and they're not. According to Scripture, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, Proverbs 9.10. To fear God is to know that His word and His laws govern all things, that the wages of sin are always death, and that what men sow, they also reap. Men who deny God's law deny wisdom. They blind themselves. Our age is blinded itself by denying the word of God. As in every age, where men declare that God is dead, it is they who die. It's the fool who says in his heart, There is no God. Psalm 14, 1. 